Hey guys, it's iTech every week, and today I'm going to show you how to sync with iTunes wirelessly on iOS 5 Beta 2. In iTunes, you can see uh, down here there are a few different options that are available in iTunes 10.5 Beta 2, um, along with iOS 5 Beta 2. The main thing that I noticed in iOS 5 Beta 2 is they now have wireless syncing uh, available on your iDevice. You can just Without a USB cord, you're able to sync to your iTunes library as long as the iTunes library is open on your computer. Uh, so you can see I have my device selected on the left side over there. And uh, if we uh, go back over here, you can see there are a few different options in here. Uh, the one option and the only option that you need to have check is sync over Wi-Fi connection. After you check off that box, you will have to uh, look at the lower right. And what it will say is apply. I already did this, so it does not say apply. It just says sync. But after it says apply, you click apply, and then you're going to hit sync. And once it starts syncing, you can go ahead and cancel it. Uh, it'll start to sync up in the top like it normally does, right where the Apple logo is right now. You can see uh, it will start the, the sync. So once that sync starts and you cancel it up on top, you're now ready to sync wirelessly on your device. And make sure that box down there is still checked and it says sync over Wi-Fi connection. So you can now disconnect your device from your computer. So here we go. So after you disconnect your device from your computer, you're going to close out of iTunes. Now let's go ahead and open iTunes back up. So here we go. It's launching iTunes. Now we are in iTunes. And I'm going to go into my settings app on my iDevice now. You're going to go to general. You're going to tap on iTunes sync. And uh, there's only one option in here, and that is to sync now. And you do see that once I went into iTunes sync on my computer, my device is on the left. And uh, if it'll focus, there you go. Uh, my device is connected now. And if we do go ahead and touch on my device on the left here, and to know that you are uh, connected wirelessly, it says connect this iPod using a USB cable in order to update or restore its software. And that's how you know that uh, you are connected wirelessly to iTunes. Now all you have to do is on your device, you can just go ahead and you can just tap on the one option available in iTunes Sync and that's to sync now. So once you hit sync now, it'll take a little bit to load up. There you go, it's starting on the computer, it's preparing to sync. And now uh, you can see it is doing something, it's determining the tracks to sync. And uh, you do, I'm almost positive you have to quit out of iTunes. I just actually tried it the first time and I quit out of iTunes and it wasn't working. But it is now syncing my music. If you look at the top here, syncing music uh, to my device. And it's, there you go, it's just, it is a slower process syncing over your Wi-Fi connection. Um, I have a very slow internet connection and that may be why it's taking so long because normally I'd probably be at like song 50 already if you're syncing over your uh, USB device. Okay, maybe not that high, but you'd be way past three songs. My other device, you can see that it is also uh, syncing it, and I don't even need uh, my computer anymore. I'm pretty sure, I never tried this, I'm pretty sure you don't even have to have these on the same network. Uh, I think you can just be anywhere you want as long as you have an internet connection on your device, and your uh, iTunes is open on your computer. I'm pretty sure you can just go ahead and uh, hit sync now, and it should start to sync wirelessly from wherever you are. You don't have to be on your same network, and it should still sync, but you can't see it is uh, syncing all my stuff yet and uh, it is working correctly. So guys, that was just a quick demonstration of iTunes Sync in iOS 5 Beta 2, which was released yesterday. Uh, it is a very cool thing, but it will definitely take uh, a lot more time to sync uh, being over an internet connection, uh, unless your internet connection is fast. I would assume having a fast internet connection would help speed up the process a little bit, uh, but mine is pretty slow, so it will take a while. Uh, but you can see it does work, and if you guys are wondering how to get onto iOS 5 Beta 2, uh, you do have to get your UDID registered with an Apple developer account, uh, that's how I did it. I actually don't own the Apple developer account. I got it signed with someone else's, and uh, that allows me to uh, restore onto the iOS 5 Beta 2 software, uh, along with the iOS 5 Beta 1 software. Either one will work. There was a glitch for iOS 5 Beta 1, and uh, there was a way to bypass the uh, the UID thing. How, I don't know, I'm not exactly sure how it was. I didn't really look into it, uh, just because I already had my UDID registered. So I never tried that, but I'm not be researching into that too much. Uh, you guys can go ahead and try that if you want, but I wouldn't, rec I wouldn't recommend you guys to glitch on iOS 5 betas just because they stated uh, that it can make your device not turn on until the final release of iOS 5, which will be in the fall. Um, I'm not exactly sure if that's true or not, or if they just said that to people won't do that, but it, it definitely seems like a possibility. Uh, but that's all, guys. If you have any questions, run into any problems, or some reason this isn't working for you, uh, go ahead and comment in the video or send me a message, an email, or anything like that, and I'll, uh, and I'll respond to you shortly. Uh, but that's all for this video, guys. You can follow my Twitter account for tech updates and my new releases. So if you like this video, go ahead and thumbs it up and subscribe for it is like this. And that's all for now, guys. And this is iTech Every Week, signing out.